Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We have a couple of, well, we have one active Pandoran structure over here, a Pandoran Citadel. And we need to capture a Siren. We need to find the Phoenix base in North America, uh, which I thought we actually already did with Phoenix base uh, or Phoenix Aeronautics here. But I guess not. I guess there's another one that we need to find. Then we need to complete the research for Pandoran Citadel, Scylla Autopsy, and to Diluvian Proto Civilization. We need to do the sixth, sixth initiation, and we would like to stop this invasion, but we do not have anyone nearby that can do that. So that's not happening. Also, our personnel is not doing so well on the Tiamat. We have six people who are healing up a bit, resting up a bit. We would like more people. On the Manticore, we have six people who are exploring at the moment. However, on the Manticore, this guy, no weapon. This guy, no weapon. So we need to do something about that. And then we also need to kit out the guys on, on the Tiamat a bit because I believe uh, they are actually kitted out, uh, most of them. So let's see, we need some ammo, let's give you that. Uh, we need some ammo, let's do that. Just make sure that these are relatively full, at least they are. Then you need some weapons. You do have a, a spider drone pistol, but that's about it. But on the research side, we do have the ability to go ahead and research some uh, Synedrian tech immediately, which is going to be very nice. Now, let's have a look at your training here. I think I'll go with weak spot. And then I will give you two willpower. And that's it for now. I would like uh, the inspire as, as well, but we can't really do that. Do that right now. All right. Now let's go to research and have a look here. We have the infiltrator class, Tenridian Aspida development, uh, poison weapons, and advanced nanotechnology. So let's start from the top and see what we get here. So the infiltrator class is a class of soldier assigned to use stealth and long range weaponry to, to resolve combat situations. <laughs> Very cool. Here we got Eros CRB3 Synedrian Crossbow. 60 damage. That's okay, I guess. Uh, the ammo for it. We got the Spider Drone Pistol, uh, Spider Drone Ammo, and Stux Helmet and Stux Legs. For the Infiltrator class. Cool. Alright. Then we have. Synedrian Aspida uh, So, adapting aircraft technology, the Aspida is capable of hover movement 45 centimeters from the ground, carrying up to three people at virtually infinite distances using existing fusion cell technology. In addition, the Aspida is equipped with automated field surgery robotics usable anywhere in the field. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ground support vehicle. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go with poison weapons and looking forward to this one, I think. A range of weapons has been designed capable of delivering powerful synthetic toxins. The effect of these toxins ranges from mild nausea to hallucinations to explosive diarrhea. That last one sounds uncomfortable. Uh, depending on the target's physi physiology and defenses. The tactical advantages of such an unpleasant weaponry should be clear. Note the poison will affect humans as well as Pandorans, so caution is advised. Alright. Chimera grenade. Okay. And we got some poison resistant technology and venom crossbow. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Advanced nanotech. 
These advanced nanobots, invisible to the naked eye but easily programmable via com a portable control interface, can be used to automatically identify and eliminate a very variety of threats to an operative's life, from fire to viral infection. To achieve this, however, they must be spread across the individual's clothing, hair and skin, and also be ingested. There are no known side effects. Cool. Uh, bonus effects. First damage, poison, point of poison, virus, acid, and fire applied per attack is ignored. Very nice. Motion detection module. Locate all enemy nearby enemies even behind obstructions. Cool. Oh, cool, cool. All right, that opened up for a lot of new research from Tsunidurin. I really like being friends with people. Let's see, Mr. Peller. Mr. Pillars are based on a complex set of interconnected technologies, including nanite swarms capable of advanced molecular recognition and powerful magnetic field generators, making it finally possible to slow the encroachment of the mist. Mr. Pillars, constructed within Sinidrian Havens, will begin the process of reclaiming, reclaiming the Earth and are a key part of Sinidrian strategy. Deployment of this technology will make bases and settle settlements considerably more safe, but does not by itself constitute a long-term solution to the Pandoran threat, as only the mist itself is affected. Furthermore, any repeller construction will certainly antagonize other factions and potentially result in conflict. We can use the technology for building repellers in our own bases and do our bit for the future of humanity. Cool! So, zoom on the module. Need a mist repellent helmet module. Consume all mist within a three tile radius. Each two mist tiles consumed restores one blue point. Okay. Nice. Advanced paralyzing weapons. A new generation of paralytic grenades has been created, implementing breakthroughs in neuromuscular transmission blocking and improvements in our dispersion technology. Additionally, a modified long distance rifle that uses paralytic rounds has been developed using the same tech. Nice. 10 damage, 60 piercing, and paralysis 15. That is very nice. That is very nice. No sniper rifle. To need a new sniper rifle mag. And a shot grenade. Sonic 10. Single shot effective range 12. Blast radius 2.5. Okay. That is not that interesting, I think. But the, the neural sniper rifle. Hell yeah. Right. Venom, cro Venom crossbow development. <laughs> Combining standard crossbow bolts with the new toxins has proven to be a more tedious task than originally suggested. After spending hours perfecting a bolt head dispersal mechanism, the research team decided it would be easier to create a new type of crossbow using lightweight carbon fiber and an automated winch. The model has proven efficient in tests and is ready for mass production. No Sinedrian animals or people have been fatally harmed during uh, the course of research. Okay. Alright, Sinedrian Poison Crossbow, damage 50, poison 40. Now, I like the idea of this. I really, really like the idea of this. And I want to give this to my infiltrators for sure. Okay. Medical nanites. New generation of medical nanites has been deployed, which are more flexible and better capable. capable, capable of directly interfacing with human biology. They can help regenerate damaged tissue at an increased rate and can even support organ function in case of severe injury. Their application has significantly shortened patient recovery times. Very nice. Medical, medical bay healing at bases increased by 50% and 20, plus 20 healing bonus in battle. Now that is useful. That is very, very useful. Alright. Uh, poison resistance tank. The Sinedrian Poison Prevention Module functions by monitoring the bloodstream of the person it is attacked to and injecting a cocktail of reversal agents aimed at neutralizing any detected poison. At pre present, the module is only efficient against enduring poisons. Okay. Poison damage is reduced by half. Now that is useful as well. Multi-sensor threat. <laughs> 
This system translates a range of visual, thermal, and motion data inf information into a color palette that the human eye can, can parse. The module is slick and elegant, easily integrated into any helmet, and requires no external power supply for use. Okay. Uh, no penalty incurred for dark environments. Okay. That's pretty cool. Very nice. That was a lot of good stuff. Let's head to manufacturing, because there is some stuff that I want to make. Uh, I think... Okay. It takes two hours, that's not long at all. And I think we'll make some of these. We'll make six. Uh, then I want. Hmm. We already have some of this stuff, so that's fine. Uh, we do want some of this stuff, maybe, but let's look at equipment first. And we want the... Wow, where are they? What's that? Jormund Gander Cannon, Phoenix Acid Cannon. I forgot about that one, but acid is not very useful in my opinion. Uh, we want... Where the heck are they? We want... We want, we want, we want, we want, we want... Mm. With poison crossbow, I want a couple of those. We already have some ammo for it, so that's fine. And then we want the Neural Sniper Rifle. We want at least a couple of those. I think there's even more. Some ammo for them as well. And... I think I'll put a couple of these up top. Something like that. Let's just finish up this new razor and then move on to the other stuff. Okay, now let's see. What do we have here? We have a sniper there. We have that's heavy. We have a sniper here. So that's two of the sniper rifles that we want. And we have that's it. And so manufacturing. Let's just make two of them, one, two, though actually it's okay to have one extra. So then we have these guys, 120 damage, 82 range. Ours is 110 damage, 58 range. Have, then we have the Cyclops, which is 130 damage, but only 51 range. I think I like the laser guys. Let's make a couple of them. And I already have two of the... of those. Let's see you. No, I think I am good with what we've got. Actually, we need to make some of this. Okay, very good. Now, back to personnel. Uh, well, actually, let's head to the Geoscape and let's let them heal up for a second. Uh, where is you are there healing up, you are there exploring. Let's explore. Okay. Base. Uh, let's head back to base and just heal everyone up a little bit. Hey, let's try. 
Why are they not resting up? Is it because ah, it's because there are too many people there. That's these guys are leveling up the ceremony. Oh, Incense. Now I have a confirmed report of an individual dying during an ODI-related recurring nightmare. The victim, a 20-year-old woman in a Sumerian haven, was being monitored when the event occurred, and as per her wishes, the collected data had been released to the public for study. While the precise cause of death cannot be fully determined, there was a massive spike in unusual neural activity just before, before her brain suddenly shut down, almost as if she was being attacked. Okay, that sounds scary. New Jericho, hiding their havens behind walls. So frightened of infection, frightened of change, clinging to the old world, to everything that is already old. lost. Yes. Okay. The walls of Jericho will fall. Yes. As they fell before. Yes, yes. You cannot keep change out with walls. walls. The flood comes. Water eats away at stone. You, you cannot, cannot build, build fast, fast enough. enough. Yes. yes. Okay, that's a little bit spooky. Uh, Disciples of Anu's attitude to New Jericho minus 12. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's let time go by a little bit. Okay. Everyone is rested up now. Now, let's have a look at our personnel here. Wolfgang, you are over at Phoenix Aeronautics, so we need to send someone over there. We have... On the... Manticore, I think it's the Manticore we'll send over there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to take someone off the Manticore. And that's going to be you. Wait, Phoenix Avionics? Come back. Uh, Phoenix Avionics. Why are we there? I want to be at Phoenix Point. Which is down here. Now it's, he is the only guy who is not on the ship right now. We'll send the Manticore down there. Well, actually, that's not necessary. We can just transfer for one of the guys over to the TMN, which has room for a guy and needs a guy. So let's stick you on the TMN. And then we'll send the Manticore over with five people, and we'll pick up Wolfgang as well. Because at Phoenix Aeronautics, which we have here, we do have some training facilities, so he's training up at the moment. I would like... Oh, that. Mr. Repeller. 250, that's pretty... Very pricey. Mm. What was that? And then I think it takes us all the way down on the materials, but that's fine. So let's head. Over to Phoenix Aeronautics. Now, TMF here. Uh, Abigail, you need equipment. What kind of training do you have? Well, you're level one, so you don't have any kind of training whatsoever. Hmm. But. Hmm. Let's just see. Yeah. Uh, Chaz, Robert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on board. We have a priest, 
sniper. Another sniper. A heavy. So that's three snipers actually we have. A heavy. Uh, a circer. A couple of assaults. So this assault has a shotgun. I think we'll give the other assault a shotgun as well. If we have one. We do have an iconoclast there. And we'll get a medkit. We'll get a grenade. We have armor. I think that's it. These independent things, let's just scrap those. They're not very useful. Okay. 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 Jericho piercing assault rifle. I would like one of those. All right, he's good to go. Everyone is good to go. Except you. You don't have a weapon. This weapon sucks. Okay. But he is on that thing on the manticore. So let's head to the geoscape. Now we need to do some scavenging or some trading for materials. Here and trade for some materials. There. And then we'll. What do we have? 17. Let's go down there and trade for some materials. So we want to hire one more guy. And who do we want to hire? So built. There's a sniper there. That might not be bad. But I'd actually like a. How many infiltrators do we have? Uh, one. I'd like another infiltrator. So, Sinudrian, do you have an infiltrator somewhere? I do. Let's head over that way. Oh, can we afford him? We probably can't afford him. No, we can't. We need to trade for some materials first. So, let's head up here. What's ahead? The Scrophylax of Imar has been processing the information, re information recently gathered by the Haven Scouts and offers to share some of it with us in exchange for parts for the hallowed machine she is made tasked with maintaining. Tentech, sure, why not? She uploads the data to our system, sites added to Geoscape 3 scavenger sites. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Uh, fine. Yeah. Do we have what it takes to get this guy now? Okay, you're over here. Personnel. You get on the manticore. 
Why does it say you're missing ammo? I am not sure why it says that he's missing ammo. You can get some training. I want to give you assault training as well. Now, did we get our... We did. That is so beautiful. That's because these are acid grenades right now. Don't care. Don't really care. Not that much anyway. Give you some ammo for that. And another clip. Then... Let's just stick that over there for now. Do this. Actually, throw that away. Throw that away because these only hold three ammo. So we'll do like that. He is fully equipped in infiltrator gear. So he is good to go. He is good to go. Beautiful. You are not good to go. You basically don't have anything. Let's throw you over to Phoenix Aeronautics. Let you train a little bit so you, you get up to level 4 and can get assault as well. So you can use at least a rifle or a shotgun. So let's go explore a bit here. And what's the Tiamat doing? It's on the way down there. It's all fine. Okay. And info. And hit you out. You are fully armored, so that's fine. And the hit kit. All good. Now, I want to take a look at my snipers, because we now have this. So let's do something like this. And that's on the Tiamat, your sniper as well. Let's give our sniper here one. And let's actually... I think I'll keep the gauze sniper rifle on him for now. I need some ammo. He's encumbered now. Which is not good. And do we have more? Because we have another sniper dog. We do not have one more. Okay. So it hasn't been manufactured yet, I guess. Nope, it's down there. Let's move that up. We actually already have some of these. Right? We have four, we don't need more. Save some materials there. Okay. So, we are full here now. So, I think we need to level up a little bit before we, uh, 
before we go tackle this mission. So we'll do a bit of exploring. Major Haven is under attack. Pause. Okay. I suppose we can try and make it. Who is more likely to make it on time? I guess it's actually the TMF. Exploration site. Nothing found. After several hours of exploring, nothing useful was found. Terrific. The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. Where is the uh, disciples of Anu Haven that's under attack? There. Well, we'll cut up to Sunidran first. Automatically, we are not that good friends with New Jericho, so I don't really want to have their specialized classes because we can't make any of their stuff. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. Haven destroyed. Oh, crap. We were almost there. And we won't make it down there either. Terrific. Let's head back down here then. Some exploring. Science importance for Rand. Fort Rand is home to Dr. Ramon P. Jacoby, leader of the new Jericho Taxonomy Project. In addition to being a brilliant scientist, Dr. Kobo, Jacoby also claims to have invented the term Pandoran as a descriptor for the creatures that threaten our world. Before that, people just called them monsters or mutants or even aliens, he says. But that's really rather missing the point, isn't it? Anyway, Dr. Jacoby continues, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, I want to make you an offer. You see, I have something, a book, but not just any book, a notebook, written by Randolph Symes, one of the founders of the Phoenix Project, a great man ahead of his time. I'm sure it would be invaluable to you, and I'm willing to trade for it. Let's trade for it. The notebook appears to be authentic, although the notes are written in the idiosyncratic shorthand Symes had developed for his personal diaries. Still, his unique perspective on the history and early findings of the Phoenix Project is always illuminating. Research plus 100. Okay. And how is our research going? Pandoran's Citadel is basically done. And it will be done in the next episode, guys, because we are out of time. So I guess no missions today, but we got some stuff done and that is all fine and dandy. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.